In December 2020, Christchurch police officers informed me that the New Zealand Foreign Affairs Minister did not recognise us. So what exactly does Nanaya not recognise? Does Nanaya rec recognise herself on Al Jazeera saying, I support greater autonomy? I support greater autonomy. I support greater autonomy in... Did I just hear the New Zealand Foreign Affairs Minister Nanaya Mahuda say I support greater autonomy? And we're not in a position to tell countries what to do, but we are in a position to advocate what we believe underpins an open democracy that builds bridges between Indigenous peoples and the government within their country. And we that builds bridges between Indigenous peoples and the government. Builds bridges for Indigenous peoples? Is Nanaya the troll that stands at the bridge so that the Native and Indigenous peoples can't travel across? Or are we expected to pay a fee? I'm the Foreign Affairs Minister and I don't recognise you. And I don't recognise you. I don't recognise you either. I don't recognise you. I don't recognise you. So you can't travel across the bridge. And I've called the cops. <laughs> but Nanaya, don't you recognise that you have broken many international covenants and laws? Policing Act 2008 30, Command and Control, number 4. No police employee may, when exercising any power or carrying out any function or duty, act under the direction, command, or control of a Minister of the Crown. Maybe Nanaya doesn't recognise the word kaitiaki since she voted to sell the seabed in Foreshore when she was the chair of Māori Affairs. This was considered to be, by the United Nations, a crime against Indigenous and nat Native peoples of Te Moana Nui Akua and the environment. Maybe Nanaya doesn't recognise the 1834 flag featured on our card. The 1834 flag was gifted by royal decree and the diplomatic community offered by the flag to the receiving state members in other territories was in quid pro quo and the normal method of diplomacy. Maybe Nanaya doesn't recognise the normal methods of diplomacy. Maybe Nanaya doesn't recognise my hapū, Ngāi Koyanaki, and my tūpuna, Te Hapuku, from Ngāi Koyanaki hapū, Kahuranaki Marae, and Te Hoki, who autographed the He Whakaputanga in 1839 on behalf of Wakamingia o Ngā Hapu ki Ngāti Kahanunu and Wakamingia o Ngā Hapu ki Ngāi Tahu. Maybe Nanaya doesn't recognise that the 1834 flag is the correct flag of our nation, or that the Union Jack flag has no trading status. Maybe Nanaya doesn't recognise the Wakaminya or Nahapu. Wakaminya or Nahapu is re recognised by the British monarch, French monarch, and Hawaiian monarchs. Maybe Nanaya doesn't recognise that each Wakaminya or Nahapu has a Tenorangatira representative and each Hapu territory has its own jurisdiction and autonomous native authority. Wakaminya or 
Wakamingia Onahapu is recognised by the United Nations as the Autonomous Native Authority by royal decree and by treaty. As a Wakamingia representative employed on my diplomatic mission for the preservation of my heritage, I am entitled to diplomatic privileges by order of the United Nations 1959. This order is enshrined within New Zealand legislation. And Foreign Affairs Minister Nanaya cannot alter this. Maybe Nanaya doesn't recognise the Te Moana Nui Akiwa Embassy, even though her house in Narawahia is literally one block away. Maybe Nanaya doesn't recognise the Te Moana Nui Akiwa Embassy building and grounds were gifted by Princess Tapuya. Maybe Nanaya doesn't recognise Princess Tapuya. Maybe Nanaya doesn't recognise what tikanga means. Maybe Nanaya doesn't recognise the 1835 Hefaka Or maybe Nanaya doesn't recognise Te Whero Whero, who autographed Hefaka in 1839 with Te Hapoku. Maybe Nanaya doesn't recognise Te Moana Nui Akiwa jurisdiction. Te Moana Nui Akiwa jurisdiction has been recognised throughout history by many civilizations, such as Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan in 1520. Te Moana Nui Akiwa jurisdiction is also re recognised by the current New Zealand Chief Justice, Helen Winkleman. The Native Autonomous Authorities collectively agree that Nanaya should be disqualified from any representative role for her crimes against Indigenous and Native peoples, the whales and dolphins, and creatures of Te Moana Nui Akua. So should New Zealand's environmental policies include a ban on mining iron sand off the North Island's Taranaki coast? So Maori maintain customary claims, as you know, to the foreshore and have, have opposed the plan for years. How do you reconcile the rights of your people when you're in a role that requires you to defend the government of New Zealand? So it was back in 2004 when you did create a bit of controversy when you eventually voted for the New Zealand Foreshore and Seabed Act. I mean, that's something that the UN criticized. They released a report on that law stating that the law contained discriminatory aspects against the Maori. You were the chairperson of Maori Affairs at the time. Do you regret that vote? No, I don't, Chief. Do you regret that vote? No, I don't, Chief. That comment was made when the bill was introduced into Parliament. Do you regret that vote? No, I don't, Chief. That comment was made when the bill was introduced into Parliament. Maybe Nanaya has amnesia. Symptoms of amnesia. The primary symptom of amnesia is memory loss or the inability to form new memories. If you have amnesia, you will have difficulty recalling facts, events, places or specific details. The details can range from what you ate this morning to the name of the current president. You will still retain your motor skills, such as your ability to walk, as well as fluency in any languages you speak. As Kaitiaki, we have a duty to take care of Nanaya in case she actually has a physical illness affecting her ability to make sensible decisions, or in case Nanaya is a victim of mind control, witchcraft, 
or in case Nanaya has been influenced by impressionable, authoritative personalities. Wakamenya Ona Hapu was the governing body that autographed 1835 Hefa Kaputanga and the 1840 Te Tiriti o Waitangi. Any corporate entity coming under the New Zealand government is an unlawful entity because they have no constitution. The indigenous peoples actually have a constitution, a protectorate known as the 1835 Hefakaputanga. The Wakamingi o Nahapu is the authoritative body and only Tinarangatira can represent the Wakamingiya. Tōhunga advised the Tenorangatira. Tōhunga advised the Tenorangatira and the Tōhunga says no kūpapa allowed. <laughs>